Do you know the warning signs of a heart attack? Let's take a moment to delve into this critical topic. A heart attack, medically known as a myocardial infarction, is a serious health event where blood flow to the heart muscle is blocked. This blockage is often caused by a buildup of fatty deposits called plaque in the coronary arteries. When the heart muscle doesn't receive enough oxygen-rich blood, it can become damaged or die. Now why is recognizing a heart attack early so crucial? Well, the sooner medical intervention begins, the better the chances of limiting the damage to the heart and enhancing the recovery outcomes. That's why it's paramount to familiarize ourselves with the warning signs of a heart attack. These symptoms are not always dramatic or intense, sometimes they can be subtle and easy to miss. Knowing these signs can save your life, or the life of someone you love. The most common sign of a heart attack is chest discomfort. But what does that mean exactly? Well, chest discomfort during a heart attack often feels like a heavy pressure, squeezing, fullness or pain in the center or left side of your chest. It's not always severe or even the most prominent symptom, especially in women. Some people describe it as an elephant sitting on their chest or a belt tightening around their torso. This discomfort typically lasts more than a few minutes or it may go away and come back. It can sometimes be mistaken for heartburn or indigestion. However, unlike heartburn, the discomfort from a heart attack is relentless. It doesn't ease up if you change your position or rest. Now, it's important to note that not every heart attack presents itself with chest pain. Other symptoms can overshadow it, especially in women, but it's a common sign to look out for. So, if you experience this type of discomfort, don't hesitate to seek medical help immediately. The second sign is shortness of breath. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, shortness of breath or dyspnea is a sensation of being unable to get enough air. It can feel like you're gasping or like your chest is tight. It's not just being winded after a run, but a feeling that persists even when you're at rest. This symptom often occurs before a heart attack, sometimes days or even weeks in advance. It happens because as a heart attack approaches, your heart struggles to pump blood efficiently. As a result, your lungs don't receive the oxygen they need, leading to this sensation of breathlessness. But here's the kicker. Shortness of breath can occur with or without chest pain. That's right. Even without that classic symptom, you could still be experiencing a warning sign of a heart attack. So, if you find yourself frequently short of breath, it's time to consult your doctor. Shortness of breath can occur with or without chest pain, making it an important sign to recognize. Warning signs 3, 4, and 5 are nausea, sweating, and lightheadedness. Nausea isn't just an uneasy feeling in your stomach, it's a symptom that can sometimes signal a heart attack. When your heart isn't pumping blood effectively, your digestive system might not get enough blood, leading to feelings of nausea or even vomiting. Sweating is another sign. It's not your regular workout sweat, but a cold, clammy sweat that can be quite sudden. This happens because your body is trying to cool down as the heart struggles to pump blood. Now, onto lightheadedness. This is a feeling of being unsteady or about to faint. It occurs because the heart isn't supplying enough oxygen-rich blood to the brain. These symptoms, nausea, sweating, and lightheadedness, might seem unrelated to the heart. They might even seem mild or easy to brush off as stress or fatigue, but remember, they are potential signals of an impending heart attack. These symptoms might appear mild, but they should never be ignored. The last two warning signs are fatigue and discomfort in the arm. Now, fatigue is more than just feeling tired. It's an unexplainable weakness or exhaustion that persists, even after adequate rest. This happens because your heart, struggling to pump blood efficiently, is unable to meet the body's demand for oxygen. As a result, you might find yourself feeling worn out, even when you haven't exerted yourself. Then there's discomfort in the arm, which often starts from the left side. This happens because the pain from your heart travels along the nerves to your arm. It can feel like a pressure, a heaviness, or even a sharp pain. Remember these symptoms might not always scream emergency. They may come and go or may seem mild and insignificant, but they are your body's way of signaling a potential heart attack. These signs, like the others, may seem harmless, but they could indicate a serious problem. To summarize, the seven warning signs of a heart attack are not to be taken lightly. First up, chest discomfort, which might feel like pressure, squeezing, or fullness. It's not always severe or even the most prominent symptom, but it's usually the first sign. Next is shortness of breath, which can often occur before or alongside chest discomfort. Then we have three symptoms that often come together, nausea, sweating, and lightheadedness. These may not seem related to the heart, but they can be, especially if they occur with other symptoms. Finally, there are two signs that can be easy to overlook, fatigue and arm discomfort. 
Unusual tiredness and discomfort in the arms can be signs of heart trouble, especially if they're out of the ordinary. Remember, these symptoms can occur in different combinations and they may come and go. Don't ignore these signs. Your life, or the life of someone you love, could depend on it. Heart attacks are serious, but knowing the warning signs can be the difference between life and death. We've journeyed through the seven warning signs, each a potential herald of a heart attack or cardiac arrest, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, nausea, sweating, lightheadedness, fatigue, and arm discomfort. These signs are not just mere discomforts, they are your body's way of waving a red flag, signaling that something is not right. They are your body's SOS, its distress call, its cry for help. Ignoring these signs could lead to dire consequences. So it's essential to take them seriously, to listen to your body, and to seek medical attention promptly. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we know, the better equipped we are to respond to our body's distress signals. Share this knowledge with your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and take care of